Hey Bulls fans, Adam here back again with another Bulls unboxing. Today I'm looking at the Halo Fleet Battles box here from uh, Spartan Games. As you can see here, this is a Fall of Reach starter box. It's a two-player battle box. Um, it's got everything you need to get in and play Halo Fleet Battles, which again, you've got uh, the classic stuff here from Halo if you're a fan of the franchise at all. There's the box there. It is from Microsoft Studios, 343 Industries, Spartan Games, made in Britain there as you see. Um, this box, we have all of the, uh, the Covenant ships here, as you can see, there's 17 total ships. Uh, all those crazy cruisers, they do come in that plastic, the purple plastic to start, but uh, you can paint them always. <laughs> there's the back of the box, they're all pre-colored cruisers, you can see. And then of course we've got the uh, <coughs> UMC guys here, UNCS ships, excuse me. So uh, yeah, Marathon Heavy Cruiser, that's a throwback to Bungie's first game, Marathon. Anyway, even though it's not Bungie. Keep going. Uh, there's the heavy carrier and all that stuff. Uh, and there you go. Uh, so, all the stuff is included in the box. You guys can pause the screen if you want a closer look. But uh, it's a ton of stuff. Uh, 30 custom Halo dice as well. So, pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and pause real quick and jump on in the box. Cut. Here we go. Diving on in. Just like Christmas. We've got two big white boxes here. Let's try to pull those out. All right. One and two. Alright, let me check the inside. We got a looks like a mat or punch outs of some type. Let me set the box to the side. Okay, so we've got some planetoids <laughs> and some good stuff there. And we've got these white boxes. Um, let's see. Hey, if you have any problems with this product, you can email them there. That's cool. This looks like some of the Covenant ships. These may be some type of bases. Something just popped off down there. And let's see. Oh, here are the sprues. We'll get those in a second. Box is now empty. Set that to the side. Boxes in your boxes. How do you like boxes? Alright, um... Okay, here's all the paper materials, reference sheets. Looks like a rule book, a rule book, and some other stuff. And then we have our dice, which everybody loves dice. And more dice. More dice. More dice. Stop dice. Okay, uh, let me set that to the side. Um, let me go ahead and pause one more time here, and we'll jump on in. I'll get it all pretty and organized for us. Everything's laid out here. There's a ton of stuff in this box. I'm going to try to go through each pile here with you real quick. Uh, let me start with uh, the, the uh, bases here. These are the punch outs for the different ships and their bases, and then these go on top of these clear plastic things with the, uh, uh, the, the ship attachments there. So that's what these are for. And that's the U UNS, the uh, United uh, Navy UNC guys. Sorry, I forgot the name of them. <laughs> and then we've got the, uh, the Covenant ships here. Again, same deal. So those are the, the, the firing arcs and everything. They're actually that way. So um, we've got some more reference sheets down here. So just some quick handy play stuff. These are always great to have. There's all your uh, uh, weapon loadouts, boarding results, table, who wins. Uh, of course, this is Spartan Games. They're no stranger to space fleet battle games. So uh, they kind of know what they're doing. Uh, this is a, a slightly different. If you play Firestorm Armada, this is slightly different, but very similar um, uh, game. So uh, all that good stuff, critical hits, all the nice reference stuff here. Here's the ship reference cards. This is for the uh, UNSC guys. So that's how their ships are. And there's also these um, these punch out cards for smaller ships and tokens and whatnot. So those are always handy to have as well. Um, and then we've gone over that. That's the UN UNSC guys. And then you go back. Here's the Covenant ships. All their punch outs and stuff. And then their quick reference uh, ships that go through all the different weapons and firing arcs and uh, what, what dice to roll pretty much. <laughs> we have the uh, instructions real quick. This is just a couple of pages. Actually, it's just a fold out one giant page. But front and back, so a few pages of instructions on how to build stuff. Pretty straightforward. They're they're not very super complicated, but they are pretty well detailed. We'll get to that in a second. Let me set that to the side. Um, you get these two uh, kind of cool character army cards with the uh, the humans and the covenant here. Uh, you can see it's kind of like list building, so zealots and then Spartans. Uh, if you're familiar with the game franchise, you know what those are. So we got those as well. Um, let's look through the paper materials real fast as well. You get the uh, Fall of Reach campaign guide, which is a really quick campaign. Obviously, there's background, there's the missions, 
a uh, couple scenarios as well. Looks like seven, maybe eight. Yep, eight scenarios. There's some optional rules in there as well. Uh, stuff painted up, the, all the ship statistics and things like that. So again, more quick reference campaign stuff, which is always good to have campaign stuff. I love the background campaign stuff. Uh, here's a little flyer thing for Spartan Games, a little catalog thing, so that's cool. And then we got the core rule book. This bad boy, hefty tome. Looks like full color, and it is 129 pages, full color. Uh, there's, there's a reference section there in the back as well, which is always nice. And just how to play the game, all your questions answered. Um, yeah, I haven't got to read through the rules at all, but uh, I'm assuming, again, these guys, Spartan Games, they know what they're doing. They've done Firestorm Armada, so uh, pretty good there. There's also, it looks like, some uh, fleet building, fleet building uh, uh, guides, if you would like to... Uh, build out your fleet for later incarnations of ships and games so pretty cool stuff this stuff looks hot <laughs> so I do I do like that already and we've got the dice I'm not gonna open the dice and then finally before I get to the ships which is I know what everybody really wants to see we've got these little mats with the with the cutouts for uh, planets and um, different uh, space debris things floating and stuff like that so objective markers which are pretty cool just little punch outs uh, front and back side, so set that down over here. Okay, so let's take a look at the ships. Now, looks like some of these things popped off, probably in transit, just uh, kind of rough at the box, but hey, it happens. So there's the first sprue. Make sure you guys can see really good. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me zoom in, slide it over, and move that up. How's that? So, so you can see there's the uh, first sprue. They're pretty nicely detailed. There's lots of uh, little things in there. If you can see zoomed in, lots of little details. I always appreciate that. There's the underside of the ship, tons of little grooves and stuff. Nice detail that's a little bit better with the light. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. So, and then uh, on the flip side, obviously, this is the inside, so that's going to get glued together. You won't see that, but that's always nice. And then there's, here's the bigger ship. Pretty cool looking Covenant ship, gotta admit. I do like that. So, there's a full shot of the sprue, as you can see. And then flip side. Again, lots of detail on this. There's lots of smooth surfaces as well, which is always nice when you're painting. But then there's also lots of little nooks and crannies to uh, get the detail going. So, and then I think I broke off one of these little <laughs> plastic bits here. So, uh, but yeah, there you go. Part of the ship. Let's take a look at the human fleets. These guys have a really cool design aesthetic, uh, as you can see there. Um, lots again, lots of little details, lots of little. Uh, grooves and stuff nice work Spartan games wearing these plastic screws these are plastic they're not um, any kind of other material PVC stuff they're look like real plastic so use your clippers nice clean cut cuts and stuff like that probably use some plastic glue to make sure they're all snapped together snap fit but not snap fit but tight fit <laughs> well, this is a pretty cool ship let me move that back so you get a better view so yeah that's the big Spartan ship our big human fleet ship, UNSC guys. So again, this is the uh, Halo Fleet Battles. So it's the uh, the Fall of Reach campaign, which if you're familiar with the lore at all, that was like one of the main planets that was fought in one of the video games as well. So um, good stuff. Let's see other sprue. So tons of cool stuff in this box. Spartan Games knocked out of the park. I can't wait to give this a shot. I'm actually a pretty big Halo fan. Um, been playing ever since Halo 2 actually because I didn't have a Xbox original so I got to miss out on Halo Odia on the original Halo but I did get multiplayer in with Halo 2 and Halo 3 and ODST and Halo 4 and, <laughs> and now yeah so I'm, that's my nerd card swipping it out for you guys but uh, yeah tons of stuff uh, in the box I'm actually pretty excited this I got a couple of buddies that also are big Halo fans so we're actually pretty stoked about this. And if this game plays anything similar to Firestorm Armada, that's already a good sign because Firestorm is a pretty solid rule set, um, except for the whole exploding sixes, but that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> uh, it's only bad when one of your buddies rolls sixes all the time. So we just give him new dice every game. So uh, <laughs> No, it's really fun. Uh, it's a great rule set. Uh, the Firestorm, I ha again, haven't got to really deep dive into this one too much, but what I've heard about it is it's similar. If you played any other fleet-based space games, you'll pick it up pretty quick. It's not too foreign um, as far as that goes, but uh, yeah, pretty nice artwork. Again, the, the core rule book and the uh, Fall of Reach campaign, these little pamphlets, 
these books are really well done so far. I want to tell what I can tell about them. So I like it. Uh, Halo Reach is a fun, or <laughs> Halo itself is a pretty fun universe. Uh, there's tons of books and stuff like that if you're interested in reading about Halo uh, to kind of get suckered in. Uh, it's got a ton of backstory, um, not just about Spartans running around punching stuff, but also just the fleet and everything like that. So, and the whole story uh, with the, the Spartans versus the Covenant versus the Flood and that giant three-way uh, cluster. So, <laughs> I think you know where I'm going with that. Anyway, um, that's it for this unboxing. I'm not going to go through any more of the contents in too much detail. But uh, here's that box again. You can look for it shipping in stores now. Um, tons of fun stuff in there. Definitely worth it. Again, Microsoft Studios, 343, 343 Industries, and of course, Spartan Games providing the legwork here. Uh, it's good stuff. So, Adam here from Bull signing off. Have a good one.